What is up YouTube? It's Metatronics. Today I'm bringing you a little uh, sharpshooter on the remake of the old Black Ops map that I loved so much. Uh, this is uh, this map is a lot of fun. In this game, I have a little bit of a rough start, but then I absolutely dominate. It's ridiculous <laughs> how much domination happens uh, here in just a few minutes. I get like a handful of deaths right here at the beginning, uh, and then just a, another handful dispersed through the rest of the uh, the match. But uh, good grief, do I absolutely destroy <laughs> this entire lobby? <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did playing it because it was a blast. <laughs> so today I wanted to talk about a little bit of news you probably have heard about. <laughs> the new Xbox has been revealed. I actually watched the reveal as it happened um, and <laughs> Yeah, the Xbox One is a thing now. It's legit. It's not the Xbox Infinity. It is the Xbox One, and uh, it's. I, it was exciting to watch the the whole reveal happen live, but on a whole, I was a little saddened by the reveal. It wasn't quite as awesome as I'd hoped it was going to be, uh, just for a number of reasons. But I figured I would go over uh, kind of the good and the bad. Uh, and let you guys just kind of tell me what you think and just give you a general update on what's happening in the whole Microsoft and the, the new Xbox world. So to start us off, uh, the good. <laughs> Let's talk about the good first. I thought that uh, I, I enjoyed the new look. Uh, it was pretty boxy. <laughs> Making an internet joke there unintentionally. Um, uh, it's... I didn't. I thought it was kind of strange that they actually had the, a bunch of vents on the top of one side of the three. Of, I call it 360. It's not the 360. It's the Xbox One, on top of the Xbox, the new Xbox. That's what I'll call it from here on out. The new Xbox. Uh, I thought that was kind of a funny choice, but uh, it's it's a pretty sleek looking box. Um, it is a box. It looks like it's uh, about the size of a Blu-ray player uh, or DVR or something like that. Um, it has a 500 gig hard drive in it, which I thought was pretty awesome. It's about time they've upped their storage capacity. Um, you know, I wonder if they had not, just because it was some sort of uh, software or hardware limitation uh, as to what the original, I, I was going to call it the original Xbox, but the Xbox 360 could actually uh, hold. It probably, probably some sort of uh, OS or software um, limitation, I'm sure. Oh, get turned on. Sorry, subscriber. <laughs> Sorry, very quiet. Um, but uh, so that was that was really awesome. I thought that the 500 gig hard drive was a finally <laughs> oh headshot through the wall. Um, yeah, it's just kind of one of those finally moments. <laughs> it's it's about freaking time. <laughs> and so uh, that though made me a little suspicious as to what you needed the 500 gigabytes for. Which uh, there's been some other news that I've kind of found out, but I'll talk about that maybe in another video or even at the end of this one. But um, Let's see, what else? Uh, it looks like the controller has been redone. Uh, they kind of rearranged the battery situation and everything, which I thought was a good idea. I always thought on the wired, con or excuse me, the wireless controllers, that the, the box that the, the batteries were in were kind of in the way and didn't make sense uh, the way they were oriented because my fingers always felt cramped on the back side of the controller. And uh, that, was, that was an improvement for sure, I thought. Um, next... Uh, they've got uh, the Connect comes with 360, and that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your situation. Um, I did read that the Connect has to be hooked up to, the, or I said the 360 again, <laughs> the new Xbox. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, the Connect does have to be hooked up to the new Xbox for it to function. You cannot play it without having the new Connect hooked up, uh, which, uh, like I said, could be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, depending on the scenario, what your setup's like, the room you've got, that sort of deal. Um, I'm sure there's got to be a way that you can turn off voice commands if you don't want uh, that getting in your way. And uh, so that that's a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what <laughs> what you what your what your situation's like. But so. Uh, on to a few of the bad things that I didn't like. Well, first off, they talked a lot about TV. I mean, a lot. It, most of everything they talked about was about TV, and that was very disappointing to me. I thought it was very strange. Uh, why would they be marketing this more as a set-top box 
uh, some sort of DVR type deal rather than being a game console like it's supposed to be. So that was confusing to me and a little disheartening. And they'd say stuff like, hey, we have games on this too. Here's a few trailers. And I'm just kind of thinking, I, yes, trailers are all well and good, but we want to see this thing do something. So that was, those are the two major downers for me. Uh, hey, TV, 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 sports, sports, sports. Uh, also games. Yeah, that's a thing that we can do too. It wasn't uh, very like, hey, we also are we are a console and we can also do TV. The focus was kind of shifted around. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll have some more videos giving you guys some more updates about uh, some of the things I've heard about the new Xbox. Um, but let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. Uh, all right, guys. Well, it's been Metatronics, and I'll see you next time.